Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Yes, 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 yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is gonna be the best day of the year. We are unbelievably excited to welcome students, staff, families, and board members to the best day of the year. The day we've all been waiting for. The day that celebrates all of the hard work from this year and every other year leading up to it. This event is about celebrating our seniors and their next steps into college and career goals. But let me know that every single teacher, staff member, parent, and community member has worked towards the success of today. Now, obviously, this looks a little bit different this year. Instead of having every DSST community member getting together at the Coliseum, we're here in this a little bit weird, but still exciting online environment. Yeah, we are still hyped to get together and celebrate the incredible accomplishments of all of our seniors. Now, speaking of seniors, it's probably time that we celebrate the founding students at CGHS. This is a group of hornets that has buzzed their way into our hearts. They are the queen bee to the DSST community. They may not be murder hornets, but as the largest founding class in DSST history, they have certainly came to slay. Now, this is a wonderful combination of students. They are a perfect combination of brilliant, artistic, and athletic. If they'd be a person, they'd be Beyonce. However, a hive can't be built on its own, and everything that they've done has done, been done for each other. They've created clubs, they've created incredible friendships, they've done it with kindness at the center, and the hive they created can't be unmatched. But you better believe they are competitive. Our seniors want to be number one in everything. Test scores, basketball games, volleyball games, cheerleading, uh, everything else, soccer games, academics, colleges, laughter, dance moves, it doesn't matter. The competition will get stung. But honey is also sweet. And our seniors are the sweetest, kindest, most incredibly thoughtful students you'll ever meet. They care about you when you're down. They're supportive when necessary. They'll be the honey to your honeycomb. Always be there when you need it. Are we combining metaphors of both hornets and honeybees? Yes, who cares? We aren't entomologists, but we can do whatever we want because our seniors of the founding class of 2021 taught us that us, the school and the larger community, that their future is whatever they want to make it. Now that you're ready to be your own queen bee, take a look at social media. Check out DSST, Insta, Snapchat, Facebook. Use the hashtag DSST2021, hashtag reach higher, hashtag better make room to capture all the sights and sounds from today. Now let's get it started. The Cole High School Dragons are here to bring the heat and breathe fire with their incredible drumline. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go! Woo! Yeah!
morning, DSST. Good morning, students and staff and families. What a beautiful morning to celebrate our seniors and this senior signing day for the class of 2021. Like anything else in 2020 and 2021, I would love to be celebrating with all of you in person at the Denver Coliseum and celebrating with all the energy that we, the DSST community, bring to Senior Signing Day. If you might remember the last time we were there, two years ago, we were celebrating our seniors in the first class of College View Wolves, and I wore the Wolves mascot. What a fun day. If I could be there this morning, I'd be wearing the Hornet mascot in honor of our founding CG high school class, and I'd love to fly onto the stage, of course on a wire, to celebrate that class. Well, this morning I am here at CG High School with a beautiful CG warm-up suit on, uh, and I'm here to celebrate our CG High School seniors and all of our seniors across the network. And I do have the CG mascot. CG founding class of Hornets, I celebrate you for your 100% college acceptance, and I celebrate you for the amazing things you have done to create an incredible high school here at CG. In fact, the number one high school in Denver two years ago, I am in awe of your contributions. You're an incredible group of young people. Congrats, class of 2021 at CG High School. But of course, we have more than just CG High School seniors. We have amazing seniors at our other schools. I want to give a shout out to our seniors at Montview High School, our seniors at GVR High School, our seniors at Cole High School, our seniors at CV High School, and our seniors at Ayers High School. Congrats on amazing accomplishments, seniors, and doing it in the middle of a pandemic. Seniors, I am so proud of you. You've overcome so many obstacles and challenges over the last 14 months. There's nothing you can't accomplish now that you've been through this. And I'm so proud of you, and you should be proud. And as you graduate from DSST and move on to your next adventure or your college campus, I ask you to keep these things in mind. Number one, you have a strong sense of self, and you have a strong community here who loves you and will support you all the way. Remember your own values and rely upon them and make decisions that honor them every day. Number three, you have accomplished so much with so much adversity over the last 14 months, have confidence that there's nothing you can't overcome in this next stage of your life. And lastly, the world needs your gifts and talents. The world is waiting for you to lead, and I hope that you are ready to take on that leadership. I hope you think back to your ninth grade year for a minute and, and think about the challenges of like, wow, I'm going to, graduate hopefully in four years and go to college. That might have seemed like a daunting goal as you sat in humanities or math or physics or Spanish class. And just think at that moment, that might have seemed daunting, but if you knew that in your junior and senior year, we'd have a hundred year pandemic and you'd be going on uh, to school online for a whole year, just think how much more daunting that would have been. And now here you are. You have arrived, you have got your college acceptance, you've accomplished your goal, and you've done it. I am so proud of you, and you should be so proud of yourself. I want to take a moment before we close to say thank you to our the teachers and our staff and our parents who have poured into our class of 2021. Seniors, you know you could not have done it without their support, their teaching, their laughter, their love, you could not have done it. And, and I just want to appreciate their commitment and their love for you. And I hope, seniors, that you'll take a moment over the next month to thank all the people who have helped you get to this point. Uh, it will mean a lot to them. Seniors, congratulations. Go out and use your gifts and talents to make this world a better place. Let's celebrate our class of 2021. Let's get the celebration going.
Hello, uh, my name is Sir Wiley. I am uh, currently processing right now to become a Marine. My freshman year, I was failing as a student and just a really bad turn of life outside of school made a bad turn of life inside of school. And so I decided to move to DSST. One of the first issues I had was I was a bully. I had bullied this girl out of a class and I had to ask myself, what can I do uh, to not only fix this, but to make sure it never happens again. The staff at DSST, I asked them, you know, help me change me because this me is not the me I want to be. And so I grew from a kid who would fight and, you know, throw desks, cuss out teachers to someone who my teachers can respect. What makes a good Marine is not how strong they are or if they were the greatest person beforehand. What matters is how good you treat the people around you. And one of the biggest things I'll miss about DSST are the moments where I'm being helped or when I'm helping others. They changed me from a guy who hates everything to somebody who really wants to give back to the world. Don't get me wrong, there are times that I thought that people around me were trying to tear me down. And those teachers ended up being some of the biggest influences of my life. Once you realize there is a part of your day that you can make the best of, you'll soon start asking yourself, what else can I make better? <laughs> so my younger sister, Angelina, she has autism. My mom is actually a stay-at-home mom, and it can definitely be hard sometimes. I actually took the role as a CNA to help my mom care for her since she does have special needs. My junior year of high school, she was in the hospital getting a surgery. That was something that was challenging for me because I'm used to seeing Angelina every day when I get home from school. Just seeing her walk into my room with a smile is the highlight of my day. Balancing extracurriculars with schoolwork and my job can definitely be very challenging, but one of the things I've learned is to never doubt myself. Seeing Angelina, that despite all of her struggles, she's still a happy person, inspires me to keep pushing through hard times. Being a funding class is an honor. We are setting a legacy for future classes. People assume that kids with special needs are different. I believe that they're not different. They're actually the same as us. They are smart, loving. I really hope that people include them more and make them feel welcome. I'm from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. I came here to the U.S. knowing that I couldn't go back to Mexico. It was scary to come here with no friends, no nothing. My teachers, they were helping me through everything, trying to explain me in Spanish and trying to help me like my friends. I feel like a part of this community because my friends are Mexican, so I feel included. A hard part of being here is that I can go back. I can go visit my dad, see my grandfather. My sister and my nephew are over there in Mexico too. It's just me and my mom over here. I was here one year and then she came here to support in my dreams. Some other friends that they are dreamers too. They are going through the same situation as me and they stay strong. I think my dream school is CSU. I would love to show my mom that the decision that we made to stay here in the U.S. will be worth it. Por último, me gustaría darle gracias a toda mi familia y en especial quiero darle gracias a mi mamá y espero que sepa que todos los sacrificios son piezas clave que yo he tomado en cuenta para llegar a donde está. How about that senior spotlight video? Kevin is an absolutely incredible human being and anyone who has had the chance to interact with him knows just how lucky and grateful we are to count him as a part of the DSST Cole community, especially anywhere near the soccer pitch. Seriously, this guy has skills good enough to pay his bills. Maybe mine too. In fact, I challenge any member of the DSST community to try and take him on 1v1 on the soccer field. 
All I'd say is good luck and don't let it make you look too silly. Now, onto the class of 2021 at large. I've known this group since they were fresh on the scene as ninth graders, and they hold a special place in our hearts because while they take their lives in and out of school seriously, they don't take themselves too seriously. And it is, how do I say this? Contagious? Too soon? Too soon. But let's be real. This is a lesson that can benefit us adults all too often. We've seen consistency and excellence from those who've been bought in since day one and commitment to growth and development from those who have bought in along the way, through the most trying of times, no less. They always bring the jokes and the joy. And for me, that's such a big and important part of this work and this community. We're so grateful to be able to share some of their stories with the entire DSST community. From snakes to squidwards to RJs, followed immediately by pies in the face, to that one robotics camp team name faux pas, to that time I buzzed my hair, don't worry, Jimena, never, ever again. We are so excited to see what your journey beyond the walls of Cole High School will bring. We know that you will leave your mark on the world and can't wait for you to come back to see us and share the new stories and memories you've made in the real world. Next, I'd like to introduce our Senior Signing Day keynote speaker, Brandon Wolf. Brandon is an activist, change maker, and thought leader on issues of LGBTQ equality, gun safety, and progressive politics. A survivor of the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando, Florida, Brandon has committed his life to honoring victims of injustice with action. He is a co-founder, board member, and current vice president of the Drew Project, a nonprofit organization that creates safe spaces in schools for LGBTQ youth, provides college funding, and enables champions in the fight for equality. He's been recognized as one of Huffington Post's 30 LGBTQ influencers under 30 and Business Equality Magazine's 40 LGBTQ leaders under 40, among other accolades. Let's give it up for Brandon Wolf. Hey seniors, Brandon Wolf here, gun violence prevention and LGBTQ civil rights advocate. I wanted to be among the first to congratulate you on what has already been a remarkable journey and to share my excitement about the bright horizons in front of each and every one of you. You know, I haven't always been doing this work. In fact, it really wasn't that long ago that I was in a similar position as you. Now, we had fewer face masks back then and certainly a, a few fewer <laughs> Zoom calls, but at that time in my life, the work that I do now advocating for a better world just felt far away. Growing up queer and a person of color in rural Oregon, I remember hearing that the world would simply never be ready for someone like me. I remember internalizing that. Maybe they were right. Maybe a world that doesn't look like me or live like me or love like me is simply not a place where I belong. But something inside kept pushing back. A little voice in my head kept telling me that somewhere out there, my lived experiences, my perspective, my voice had to matter. It was that passion to find purpose and belonging that made me hurry off to college as soon as I could after graduation. It's what made me pack two suitcases, get on a plane for 3,500 miles and, and find a new home here in Central Florida. It's what dared me to try new things, to make new friends, to create new chosen family. But despite all of that, I don't think I ever really found the power in my voice, in my experience, until the summer of 2016. On June 12th of that year, I escaped Pulse Nightclub, a place I had been hundreds of times, a place that was supposed to be safe for people like us, through a fire exit, when a man charged in the front door and opened fire. After a matter of hours, he had murdered 49 mostly LGBTQ people of color, including my very best friends, Drew and Juan. 
I was spurred to action. I wanted to share the stories of those we lost that night. I wanted to make sure that their faces, their names, their lives were never forgotten. I wanted to be queer and black and proud as an act of defiance in the face of hatred. And I wanted to create a world where young people could just exist without fear. I've had incredible opportunities to do that over the last five years. I've spoken to world leaders, talked in front of crowded auditoriums. I've shared my story what feels like countless times. But you know the most important lesson I've learned is that I never needed a television camera or a microphone or even permission for my lived experience to have power. Because no matter what my detractors said, I had that power all along. It's the same power that each of you possesses right now. It's the way you persevere through the hurdles that life throws at you in order to achieve your wildest dreams. It's in the way you live your lives authentically and unapologetically, pouring every ounce of, of yourselves into the work that you do. It's in your creativity, your ingenuity, your fresh perspectives, and it's in the way that you have a clear-eyed and unwavering vision of a world that values all of you. The truth is, I don't have to tell you to go out and change the world because you already are. Around the globe, young people, you are reimagining what's possible for all of us. Whether it's combating climate change, confronting systemic inequities, inventing new technologies, or reimagining the way we organize our communities, young people have breathed fresh life into the future of humanity. President Barack Obama once said that we are the ones we've been waiting for. He meant you, a new generation of leaders daring us to dream bigger and soar higher than we ever have. All those years ago, my naysayers were wrong. The world is not just ready for a, a new crop of diverse young leaders. The world needs them. It needs you. So congratulations on what has already been an incredible achievement. I am in awe of your journey and I cannot wait to cheer you on as you continue changing the world. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is no way that y'all are about to have a senior signing day without me. And so for those who don't know me, my name is Mr. Q. I'm one of the deans of students over here at GVR, and I've had the pleasure of being one of the senior signing day MCs every single year that we've had a senior signing day at the Raptor Ranch. And so it only felt right, even if we're meeting virtually, to come back at you one more time. And so, we'll take a stroll with me as we head towards that legacy tower that was built here as a time capsule to remember every graduating class that has been at the Raptor Ranch. They each have a chance to leave a legacy. I don't know what this class's legacy will be, but you guys made it through a pandemic. You guys have made it through some very challenging times. And so we are so proud that you guys have continued to move forward. And so one of the exciting things for your teachers is some of us got to see you in middle school and some of us got to see you in high school, but each of us have an opportunity to see the adult you're growing into. We're so proud of each and every one of you all. Thank you for letting us be a part of your journey. Don't forget about us. Continue to check in. And I'm so proud that one of my former advisees, Christian Alvarez, has an opportunity to share something with you all through his words. You see, poetry is just emotions that were dipped into ink that when joined with other words in rhythmic matrimony make a poem. And so I'm so thankful that when you add those poems to a beat, you have a rap. And that right now you have a chance to hear something that may change your life, change your spirit, change your soul. The words of Edgar Aguess said, there are thousands who will tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophesy failure. Thousands to point out to you one by one the dangers that wait to assail you. But 
Just take off your coat and go to it. Start to sing as you tackle that thing that cannot be done, and you'll do it. Christian, I remember you in this middle school. It's been great to see you in the high school. And for each of our seniors, just know we got your back, man. You are relentless. Others should have been a raptor, and we're so proud of you. I'll holler at you on the flip side. Changing my ways, the rainy days were just a face. Told my boss I needed a race. Big boss ain't give me no race. So I put in my 14 days. Yeah. Last week was just a haze because I'm moving on this pace. Nowadays, keep that mask on my face. Acceptance is first class in my place. Been on my own, I need a space. Nothing to prove. They can still get like I'm running a maze. We winning the race. At this race, make more off the integral. Been on the grind, keep it habitual. Yeah, that's so critical. Been that is so much, it's too typical Rose up, I'm still humble Heard they was listening, did something different Put my t 4 in a different mode They got to me, AP1 no smoke I don't waste time, plug it in as it was broke Mass so cold, think my cold needs a coat Trying to hit these fives, no joke Doing the most, nobody asked for this Do what I do, but who gon' know this? Yeah who gon' know this? Y'all don't know this. El día de mi suerte, te lo juro por mi gente, te juro que un día llegará y me won't stop. stop, stop. We always know we make it, and know you hate it, we still made it to the top. Great job on that spoken word. You're such an inspiration. We are so excited to shout out our seniors, especially here at College View High School. Um, we are just so proud of the things that you have done this year, and you deserve all of the recognition and celebration um, and more. Um, our students here at CB have just overcome so much this year um, from COVID challenges to um, like staying involved and just being the spirit that we need here for our seniors. Um, not only have you been accepted to so many incredible colleges, um, but you've just done it with such excitement and blown us away. Our seniors have been such leaders for um, our community and the Denver community through protest and allyship for the AAPI community. So much advocacy has gone on this year, even though we're not together. Um, our students have also helped with vaccine clinics and organized ways to stay in contact with each other, such as Senior Sunset and our amazing yearbook, um, and just helped us have um, such a great school experience. Um, I want to shout out our basketball team. They've had such an amazing year, and all of our athletics have really um, just found so many ways to stay um, involved outside of school. And we are just so proud of all of you and the people that you are going to become, um, and thank you. <laughs> hey, you guys, Miss Adams here. Hopefully you remember me. No, you do. From 10th grade world history, um, you guys, from the moment you stepped on campus, were such a rambunctious group. Um, but you always had a really strong bond with each other and really supported and cared for each other um, in our community th through some really tough situations that we've had here. I always knew you guys would go off to college and make your own way in this world because you made your own way here at CBHS. Um, so you supported literally the entire school and staff through this entire Pantene Pro-V. 
And I cannot wait to see what you guys do in college. So you're truly, truly what this country needs right now. And I cannot wait for you guys to go off into the world and to change this country that we all love. I love it. I love a nickname for a pandemic. A little panini. <laughs> little <tic-tac>. uh, <laughs> um, you seniors are just so special to us. And although we're sad to see you go, we can't wait to see um, how you change everything. Um, you have just done so much and um, overcome so many things to make everything possible for yourselves. Yep. So without further ado, let's hear from a few of our seniors. <laughs> I grew up in Vietnam. I came to the U.S. in 2015. I didn't know any English. Before the day that I came to the DSSD, I have a wish that like I will be able to make friends. I feel like everything just become true. My Vietnamese friends just approached me. They guided me through like every class. Many times I was really nervous to raise my hand. Even just like reading a sentence would scare me out because like, I worry that everyone gonna judge my English. There was this thing that's like really nice about the SSD. We have like the snap thing. And so like when like you feel someone is nervous, everyone just like silently just snapped it. Just to show like their support and care for you. I got accepted into Boston University, which is my dream school. To my mom, my acceptance into BU is like a hope for my whole family. It's kind of a process where you open yourself in the SSD. Everyone is caring for each other. We just able to allow us to be our own self and being happy with who we are. I was really nervous just because like I was moving into high school and I wasn't ready for it. I thought it was really going to be hard to make friends. I really just call it a center program just for kids that learn different that needs more help than other people. I don't have the great pass ever. DSST kind of gave me the chance to work in school and have a future. Teachers that cares about me here and that you could tell them anything pretty much and they won't judge off of you. I can't really see any other schools that can do that for me. Art has always been a theme for me. It's the theme that calms me down. My kind of future is working with my dad. I want to just be a car designer. I'm a really big fan of low riders, like old school. Car shows and all that is like my favorite thing to do. I want to take old cars and resign them into new ones. I'm definitely proud of the year that I made here. I just hope other people see me as a woman that went through a lot of things and that is strong. Showing other kids you can really do anything that you put your mind to. I don't feel like there's a difference between me being out of protest and living every day. Eddie Randall is showing us how more kids are now joining in to the protests. When I was young, my mother took me to Marais for Dr. King. When she speaks, it is very powerful. It's been very inspirational for me. This summer, I helped organize the DSST Network protest for Black Lives Matter encouraging people to use their voices across the district. Being in the community is really important because it's more of a connection. Whenever I do see someone chanting and they need a megaphone, I always hand it over and I ask them, you know, I can hold it for you and you can use it. Making sure that people have the chance to have their voice be amplified. In order for change to happen is actions. We need new people in office and we need more representation of people of color. Your voice has power, your words have power. History needs to stop repeating itself. Welcome 
to DSST Buyers. My name is Mr. Bankowski, aka Mr. B, and I teach American Lit and AP English Language and Composition in our community. Hi, and I'm Ms. Njai, aka Coach Njai, or as some students call me, Ms. Coach Njai, and I am the coordinator of college success here at DSST Buyers High School. Thank you so much, Annika, Katie, and Ashira, for having the courage to share how DSST has impacted you on becoming the person you are today. Ashira, I just want to share how you have impacted our community by the growth that you have over, uh, overcome throughout the years. I remember you in 10th grade, quiet, not really want to talk as much, and now look at you. You're not afraid to use your voice for good and you have blossomed into the young woman that you are, and you have such a bright future ahead of you. Y'all are going to soar to new heights, and we cannot wait for you to fly away from this nest into your new ones very soon. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2021. 2021. You yeah. did <laughs> Welcome to DSST Buyers. My name is Mr. Bankowski, a.k.a. Mr. B, and I teach American Lit and AP English Language and Composition in our community. Hi, and I'm Ms. Njai, a.k.a. Coach Njai, or as some students call me, Ms. Coach Njai, and I am the coordinator of college success here at DSST Byers High School. Thank you so much, Annika, Katie, and Ashira, for having the courage to share how DSST has impacted you on becoming the person you are today. Ashira, I just want to share how you have impacted our community by the growth that you have over, uh, overcome throughout the years. I remember you in 10th grade, quiet, not really want to talk as much, and now look at you. You're not afraid to use your voice for good, and you have blossomed into the young woman that you are, and you have such a bright future ahead of you. Y'all are going to soar to new heights, and we cannot wait for you to fly away from this nest into your new ones very soon. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2021. 2021. You yeah. did We are super lucky. 95% of who I am is because my parents are so good at what they do. What makes me thankful about my family is my mom. She's someone that I can always go and talk to about anything. I admire my parents' drive. My family is from Durango, Mexico. My family is from Peru. Our parents are Ghanaian immigrants. She's a single mother and she raised all five of us by herself, which to me is really inspiring. And they have taught me so much. Even if I didn't get accepted into a college, they still, uh, everything would be okay. You know, when I accomplished something, they always knew how to celebrate those accomplishments. I did Taekwondo for a vast majority of my life. I ended up competing in internationally in Germany. They went to Germany uh, to support me. Our older sister has definitely always been a, like a role model for us. On Daisy wouldn't go to church. She would have her whiteboard in the kitchen and would be teaching us like Bible stories. I hope to be for my sister someone that she can count on. Ever since I was like four or three, I've always wanted to be exactly like William. When we started high school, I didn't think it was possible to get all A's. And then she got all A's. And then I was like, okay, it is possible. You have these two people that are looking up to you consistently. And especially during COVID, I think we've gotten closer. Whether it's watching movies or just being in the same room together. The longest we've even been away from each other is like seven, like six weeks. Um, I'm gonna miss him a lot. <laughs> I want to be a pediatric nurse. I have committed to Northeastern. Purdue University. I'm going to college so I can serve my community. I'm going to college to make my mom proud. Because of my parents and my big sister. Because they've always believed in me even when I didn't. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For always showing me the bright side of any situation. For always pushing me to do my best. For helping me become the best person that I can be. To do all that work and sacrifice so much is just everything.
Sunday Yesterday my life was filled with rain Sunday You smiled at me and really eased the pain Now the dark days are gone and the bright days are here My sunny one shines so sincere Sunday one so true Yes, I love you Mike Lang. That was amazing. We want to take this time to thank and acknowledge our entire community for their support of our seniors this year. This class of 2021 is so special and we really appreciate all the support from our community during this challenging year. We're now going to transition to celebrating our Montview Nights. We asked some of the staff at Montview about the words that came to mind when they thought of the class of 2021. Here's what they had to say. Nice. Class of 2021, thank you for your humor, jokes, energy, and curiosity. From Ebenezer's curiosity in physics class, to his and his classmates' love of eating spicy peppers, to Angel making me his background. Oh, Angel, now I made you my background. So whenever I need to take like a laundry break, like my friend Ethan, I'll just go ahead and cover up my camera and uh, go fold my good old laundry. Oh, I'm back now. Um, to the whole physics class putting Angel or Lucene as their background for the Tri-1 final, to the AP physics class chat revolving around the main character, Maya, you all always keep me laughing. Thank you for that, and I'll miss you all so much next year. When I think of the Montview class of 2021, that word that comes to mind is lively. I think back to their end of their freshman year when Maggie, Jesus, Kanani and Jonathan used the power of their words to convince me to skip our regularly scheduled lesson and instead do karaoke to the brand new Taylor Swift album. Class of 2021, you were my very first class and you are so special to me. Uh, you have truly taught me so much and I will forever cherish the memories that we have shared together. When I think of the class of 2021, the word that comes to mind is transformative. Of course, you all are change makers for our world. But I'm really talking about the power to transform our community, the transformation of who you all are individually and as a whole, and the transformation you have all caused in your teachers. I speak for myself, but I believe this is true of many teachers. You have been the greatest factor in my transformation as a teacher and as a person. I never knew what I didn't know about life and about myself until I met you. I never knew the depth of love that I have inside me for people outside of my family until I met you. I honestly am who I am now because of the class of 2021 specifically. I love you all and thank you for all of these amazing years. Congratulations. I am so very proud of all of you. Class of 2021. 
when I think of you, the word that comes to mind is heartfelt. Whether that's fighting for change in our school, rallying against injustice in our city, or even just saving our class mascot, Sharkeisha. You're an incredibly passionate and joyous group of young adults. I have so many great memories. They couldn't all possibly fit in this little clip, but if I have to narrow it down to one, it's just hanging out with you guys during bio tutoring. That could be Wednesday mornings with pancakes with Kayla knocking on my door, um, or maybe everyone who came and hung out with me at lunch in the bio room, um, Asia and Ebenezer and Navani and Carissa and Miles and Kyle and Mel and Stella and so many others. Um, and then of course, just hanging out Thursdays after school, learning about AP Bio, and then maybe some other things too, like the upsides of jelly beans with Lacine or the most cutting edge Drosophila research with Isaac, um, or like a lot about DND with Philip. <laughs> it's truly been an honor to get to be a part of all of your lives. You're phenomenal people, and I know you're going to do great things. Please keep in touch. I will miss you all so much. Congratulations and good luck on your next step. When I think of the class of 2021, I think of the word unexpected. Um, I remember my fifth period being very challenging as a first year teacher. Um, and I just thought that there was no way I was going to get anything done with this class. But what I remember is students like Amani, Jamani, Devani, all of my Amis, um, Amanda, and Alex, and Ben, just really pulling through and turning it around and showing me that they were capable of being successful. Um, class of 2021, I, I make jokes like this all the time. You were my babies. You are my first class. You were so, so special to me. I am so utterly proud of you. And I can't wait to see what great things you accomplish in your futures. I'm so glad I got to be a part of it. We're now going to celebrate each individual senior as they share their next steps. Congrats, Montview Class of 2021. We are so proud of you. Yay! <laughs>
um, and I'm very excited because I got awarded the very competitive first generation scholarship. My name is Colin Baker, and next year I'm going to be starting college at UC Irvine. Hi, I'm Adele Bauer, and this fall I will be attending Clark Honors College at the University of Oregon. Hi, my name is Kayla and I'm going to Northeastern Junior College in Colorado to study elementary education. Hi, my name is Claire Burns and I'm going to be taking a gap year in Florida. My name is Raina and I'll be working in attending CCA. Hello, my name is Aja Brown and I am attending and will be graduating from DSST Montview and I plan on furthering my education at Houston Community College. Hi, I'm Jordan Bryan. I will either be attending Austin Community College this fall or Prairie View A&M. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lotus and I'm going to see you Boulder in the fall. Hi, my name is Felicia Chavez and I'm going to Cosmetology School. Go 2021! Hi, my name is Atsiri Corona and I will be attending at CU Denver this fall. Hi, my name is Willis Kostumkan and I will be heading to CU Boulder this fall. Let's go Bucks! My name is Caesar, and I will be attending CU Boulder. I am Sebastian Delgado Bonilla, and I'm going to CU Boulder. My name is Paige Jamatica and I will be attending the Colorado School of Mines this fall. Hi, my name is Kyrie and I'm going to MSU once I graduate to study for psychology and business. Hello, 
my name is Vance Donnellan and I'm headed to CSU. My name is Anna Elon and I will be attending UC Denver this fall. Hey guys, I'm Valeria and I'll be attending to see you both in this fall. My name is Pamela and I'll be attending to MCU Denver. First off, I want to thank God. I want to thank uh, my mom and dad and my family. And I'm going to see you, Denver. I'm Azim Hamid Muhammad Radi, and I will be attending DU or the University of Denver this fall of 2021. I got to thank my whole family, and alhamdulillah, all praises and thanks go to Allah. My name is Ryan Hernandez and I will be going to the University of Denver. Hi, my name is Miles, and I've been accepted to CU Boulder. CU Boulder. I am David, and I am going to UCCS next year. Hi, my name is Hannah M, and I am headed off to Emory University this fall. My name is James, and I'll be attending City of Boulder. My name is Lucas Kalajic and I will be going to Navy Nuke School. Hey guys, I'm Grace and this fall I'm going to Boulder. Let's go Bobs! My name is Aaron Combe and I'm going to CSU. Jason Keller, and after high school, I plan to take a gap year and work. My name is Andras Kesse, and I'm excited to study aerospace engineering at CU Boulder next year. Let's go, Buffs! Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Congolo and I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be spending my next four years at the University of Northern Colorado.
My name is Inghi Lewis and I'm going to be studying neuroscience at Binghamton University. My name is Nathan Mahari, and God willing, I will be going to CU Boulder and pursuing an engineering degree. This fall, I am going to Community College of Aurora. Hi, my name is Dayla Matkovich, and next year I am attending CU Boulder. Hello, my name is Imani Miller, and y'all can catch me at University in Northern Colorado. Jonathan, I can continue to retain St. Louis. See ya. Hi besties, my name is Maya and I'm going to Emory and my plan is to travel! Hi, I am Vivian Nguyen and I'm headed to University of Denver this fall. My name is Samuel Orozco, I'm going to Harvard University. Hi, my name is Ruben and I am going to be committing tax evasion. I'd like to clarify that the tax evasion is a joke, otherwise I'd be going to CCD or the Turing School of Software and Design. Hi, my name is Stella Priest, and I'm going to be taking a gap year and then attending CU Boulder in the fall of 2022. Hi, my name is Amina Puller. I attend DSST Monty High School, and I'm going to Colorado State University this fall. Hello, I'm Mana Quinones and I'm going to be headed to CU Boulder this fall. Hi, my name is Carissa and I'll be attending Metro. I'm going to Front Range Community College to study cybersecurity. Hello, my name is Aiden, and next year I am going to the Alumni Bridge Program. Hi, my name is Isaac Rivera, and I am from DFSD Mountain and I will be attending Williams College this fall. I will also be attending on a full ride, and let's go Eats. Thank you very much. My name is Michelle and I'm deciding on CU Denver or DU.
My name is Owen Rutherford and I'll be working this year. Hi, my name is Guptu and my plans for the fall is to attend DU and major in political science. Hi, my name is Leslie. I will be going to MSU for my first year and then transferring to CU Boulder. Hi, I'm Nima Saram and I'm going to be going to Purdue University for their engineering program. I'm Evan Yusabatsu and after high school I will be attending Colorado State University. I'm Bella Smith and I'm going to Whitman College. My name is Jamani Steven and I'll be attending Colorado State University in the fall of 2021. My name is Elena Stutzman and I'm going to University of Arizona. I'm Christian and I'm going to CU Boulder. My name is Philip Charmetta and I'm going to see you Boulder. My name is Matsuzawa Tawada and I will be attending CU Boulder this fall to pursue a degree in engineering. I'm Isabella Torres, and I'm going to see you Boulder. Let's go Buffs! Hi, my name is Sanaisa Gazav, and I'm going to go to Philly College of Denver uh, to study nursing. Hi, my name is Veronica Turpa. I graduated from BSSC Wapu and I will be attending Seattle University in the fall. Hello, my name is Marvin Valdez and for my future plans, I'll either be going to CSU or CU Denver. My name is Vikram Vasan and I'm going to Middlebury College. My name is Asia Velasquez and I will be headed to Bennett College this fall! My name is Alex Walker, and I will be headed to Colorado College this fall. My name is Bracken Wells, and I'm going to UC San Diego. My name is Ben Wieland, and I'm going to University of Washington.
Dominance ICU sa Miss Fall Beach sa Main Duke University.